It was so hard to come running out of a hell that nobody believed existed. My name is Kathy O'Brien, and I'm a survivor of MKUltra mind control. The MKUltra program was to ultimately control the minds of the population for implementing what Adolf Hitler first termed the New World Order. When girls reached age 30, they were, they were sacrificed. I was going to be well. I was to go out in a blaze of glory and be, be burned. I'm so fortunate that an intelligence insider who saw the kind of corruption that was going on in the highest levels of government decided to take action and rescued me and saved my life so that we could begin to expose what was being done. Appreciate this opportunity oh. to read your listeners with such pertinent information and truth. I know you have been waking people up for a long time and, and bringing truth to light, and it's great to be able to share with those who listen to you all and have learned from you. MK Ultra Mind Control is the mind control that was brought over through Project Paperclip through the Nazi and Fascia scientists that we imported into the United States. We didn't win World War II, we just brought it over here to the US. And the CIA was taking the information that Hitler Himmler research had gleaned and learned about the effects of trauma on the human mind, and were combining it with the information that the Catholics had long since learned about effects of trauma on the human mind through such things as the Crusades and the Spanish Inquisition. And they were rolling it into a powerful form of mind control, something that was going to be joined later with technology, making the kind of mind control that really the whole world is experiencing today, because that has been the ultimate plan, is to create a robotic slave society, and that's what this so-called New World Order is about. That's what Adolf Hitler and George Bush termed the New World Order, and Joe, Joe Biden now called that. And it's a mind control slave society agenda, and one that I was targeted for when, when I came into this. Yes, knowledge is our defense against mind control. And that knowledge has been deliberately suppressed for a long time. It's time this information came to life so we could understand our mind-brain function that they certainly knew about and how when trauma occurs, how our brains respond to that trauma. And since I was born into a multi-generational incest-based family, the Hitler-Himmler research had found that any child who had been sexually abused would be suffering from a dissociative disorder. It's the way our brains respond to trauma. And it's, in my case, my father was sexually abusing me from birth, and I couldn't think to know that what he was doing was wrong, but my brain knew it was wrong. And so it compartmentalized the memory of that event so the rest of my mind could function normally. My brain knew that I was experiencing pain and suffocation. And so it recognized that as a trauma, even though I was way too young to even think to know that that was a trauma. My brain did it, and it shut down the neuron pathways. The neuron pathways actually shut down around that memory, so the rest of the mind can function normally. This is also professionally defined as the mind's same defense to trauma too horrible to comprehend, and it's a kind of compartmentalization that that happens any time that 
trauma occurs because it's like our conscious mind goes into a freeze in fear mode and leaves the subconscious um, open to being led. So that part of my brain where this repressed memory, this repressed trauma was stored would actually open up again and again as needed every time my father would come in to sexually abuse me. So that was why the government was interested in targeting children like myself for MK Ultra mind control. They thought what better place to store government mm -hmm. secrets than in the mind of someone who can't think to bring those those events and those traumas to mind, those secrets to mind, the perversions to mind. Because I, I couldn't think to know that what my father was doing was wrong or to tell anybody about it. My father was also out, he was trafficking me. This was the way early 60s. And he was trafficking me to um, local politicians who were involved in my grandfather's Blue Masonic Lodge. And one of those politicians was Gerald Ford. And Gerald Ford approached my father and told him that he could receive immunity from prosecution if he would sell me into MK Ultra Mind Control. This shows us how long, how far back that our justice system mm -hmm. has been compromised by this handful this shadow government, this deep state, these new world order perpetrators, whatever title we want to give them, this dark energy force that has been on our planet, that we share this planet with, they have to realize that we do share this planet with some very low vibration, mm -hmm. dark energy force, um, evil people who are hell-bent on traumatizing the whole global population in order to mind control them just as I was being mind controlled once my father sold me into the project. As quickly as my father sold me into the project, he was flown to Boston, Massachusetts where he was trained on how to raise me in MK Ultra Mind Control by the, um, the, the Catholic Church Cardinal Law, Cardinal Law of the that broke a few years back and exposed how it was being sanctioned within the Catholic Church by a criminal faction of Jesuits because the Catholic Church was to be the one world church in the new world order. And Cardinal Law trained my father on how to raise me in the project. My father had a sixth grade education. He was earning his living as a worm digger. So it doesn't take a whole lot of, of intelligence to grasp the concept of NLP, of neuro linguistic programming, of the language of our subconscious mind. But yet, we all can arm ourselves with that knowledge. It's been suppressed under national security so that mind control could continue. Again, knowledge is our defense mm -hmm. against it. And that's why I speak out and I'm bringing this information to light because mind control is being imposed on us all through mind control masks as a virus these days. Yes, it's neuro-linguistic programming, and everyone can look it up and research for themselves and find out um, what it is. But it's the language of our subconscious, because our subconscious has no ability to reason, to question, to critically analyze, or to process information in a necessary manner for us to maintain free thought, critical analysis, conscious awareness over what we're being told. And it's, it's a very literal interpretation of information. It's one that controlled media is using on the population. It is one that this handful of perpetrators who are ushering in this new world order slave society agenda are using to manipulate the minds of, of people through their controlled media voice. I think a prime example of that would be that once mind control masks as a virus was unleashed on humanity, that this um, NLP was used to say we had to social distance six feet away. 
Mm -hmm. to our subconscious mind means six feet away or six feet under. It's do or die. So it becomes that in the subconscious mind. It's the way our subconscious mind interprets information. Trauma is the basis of mind control. And as people began waking up in the early 90s to mind control being imposed through the school systems and through, through the control media, every time they began waking up, then more national trauma was imposed on people. People were on militias were forming back in the 90s. This was going on. The, as the militias were forming and the people were rising up against this oppression and this control and this extreme censorship of pertinent information, then as these national traumas happen, every time they happen, the media would tell us it was a malicious attack. And, and when they would say it was a malicious attack, that was equated in the subconscious as the militias that were doing the attacking. And it actually had an effect and started eroding the, the power that the militias had been gaining up until that point. Mm. So those are examples of oh. the linguistic growth and how it is used on us every day. And once we catch on to that, we can arm ourselves against it. Again, knowledge is our defense against mm -hmm. it. Because I am acutely aware, I was able to um, dismiss it and dismiss it. And you, you dismiss it over and over and over, but the repetition can still have a subconscious effect. So they, as they repetitiously tell us to mask up and social distance and get the injection, this constant repetitious barrage is also having a subconscious effect. It's not coming just through the media. We see it when we sign in online. We hear it when we're in the grocery store. It's coming over the intercom, social distance, mask up, um, get your injection. You know, mm -hmm. all yep. that was happening. And we were being subjected to um, the masks, which are used in MK Ultra Mind Control. It is a tool, a deliberate tool of MK Ultra Mind Control. My own daughter was trafficked in a mask. And the reason they use masks is because, one, they depersonalize. You can't see someone's facial expressions. You can't see their identity. You know, it's different. It completely changes that. And it also makes a person feel like they have no voice, like mm -hmm. they can't speak. Like they, it muffles voices, especially sure. from six to the right. Yes. And it, most importantly, it inhibits oxygen to the brain necessary for critical analysis free thought. The New World Order was going all in to usher in what was supposed to have been ushered in 2016. And they were making up for lost time by mind controlling the whole global population at a rapid rate through this, what I know to be MK Ultra mind control. People now are recognizing it as mass formation psychosis, brainwashing, whatever we want to term it. The fact is our brains are responding to the trauma the same way with the same heightened suggestibility. And once we understand what's happening, we can all effectively take back our free thought, our free will, our soul expression and our strength of spirit to stand against this handful of perpetrators. Mm -hmm. It's inexcusable that we have allowed this dark, low vibration energy force to affect our brilliant minds. We just need to realize what they're doing and start shining our light and our, our light overcomes their darkness and as quickly as we do that, it's over. And we win. We've already won. We just need to realize it, shine our light and stop complying with a handful who are manipulating us by the, their suppression of pertinent information that we all have a right to know and a need to know. It's how our brains work. It's what we've mm -hmm. been blessed with from the start. And we, we have a right to understand that so that we can maintain self-control. Free thought is sacred. 